I'm Franklin, and this is a look at the month of March for Virgo. Your best days in March are going to be the 6th, 7th, and the 8th. This is when the moon will be in Virgo, and this is when you will be at high tide. When the moon sign, or your ruling planet, Mercury, passes through Virgo, we all find that we're more tolerant of each other's mistakes and more ready to forgive and, even more important, to accept forgiveness. Now here's a look at the month of March for the Earth sign Virgo, and we'll begin with Virgo in love. In week number one, the stage above happiness is contentment with what you've been given in this life and who you're spending your time with. In week number two, you receive news from a long-distance relationship, and this makes you want to do some traveling. In week number three, when two souls think the same thought, it multiplies the power of any idea and attracts others like moths to the flame. And in week number four, someone is reading your thoughts about them, and they're going to try and return your cosmic consciousness along the same path that you opened up. Now here's March in your work life. In the first week of the month, be careful about getting everything that you ask for because it just might cause uncontrollable success. In week number two, you're going to be offered a new position that includes traveling to meet with a client. And in week number three, knowing how to read body language gives you the inside track to become friends with a new person you're working with. And in week number four, winning the favor of a pet or a small child opens the doors for you by instilling confidence in your trustworthiness. Now here's March and your finances. In the first week of the month, any investments made for home and family any of those made right now are sure to be long-term winners. In week number two, this is the time to invest in transportation, any sort of uh, long-distance traveling. In week number three, the business partner you need is the exact opposite of you, so your work can appeal to both sides. And in week number four, the arrows you shot with good intentions have been guided by the unseen world and will bring the results that you're looking for. So that's a look at the days in March, according to your sun sign. Now, here's a look at your nights in March, according to the moon sign. In the first week of the month, and this is the week of the first quarter of the moon, and that moon rises in Gemini, the dreams and the visions this week are about changes that are coming soon to those that you care about most, probably a family member or a close friend. In week number two, the week of the full moon that will rise in Virgo, so the dreams and the visions that come now give you a second chance to learn from the experiences that you've had in the past, but at that time missed the karmic point of. And in week number three, the week of the last quarter of the moon, this moon rises in Sagittarius. The dreams and the visions that come now are a warning for you to have patience and not leap before looking. And then in week number four, the week of the new moon that rises in Pisces, the dreams and the visions that come now expose the invisible trail to the spirit world that can only be seen in the darkness of the new moon. So the unseen will become visible to you. And that's a look at the month of March for the Earth sign Virgo. If you like what you see here, please hit the subscribe button.